So what are the objectives of ERS? Why does it even exist? Well, it does a lot of things for you. It minimizes manual work. As you are aware that Miro is a front-end manual process and it can take from 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds to a few minutes to create an accounts payable invoice based on a vendor's uh, whatever their services or their goods that they may have supplied to you. Since ERS runs in the background, it can minimize that work considerably. As a fallout or as a corollary to that process, it can speed up the accounts payables because now you can deal with a high volume and create accounts payables for them instead of going through each and every service or delivery document one by one by one in Miro. There will be a lot of vendors who will be willing to give you cash discounts if you pay them in time or in the agreed payment terms. Occasionally we have situations where we do not have enough staff and in such cases you can use the ERS process to create the accounts payables in time, make the payments in time and thereby avail of the cash discounts that are being offered to you. And obviously it keeps the vendors happy if they are getting their payments in time. The another important part is that because this runs in the background, it is using your existing data and it is not forcing you to make any further entries manually like you would do in Miro. That obviously helps you to reduce manual mistakes relating to amounts and quantities. And as a result of all the above, it improves efficiencies. It also avoids missing payments to important vendors. There are still people, vendors who can stop supplies or who can, you know, cause some other kind of disruptions to your smooth running business operations if they are not paid in time. And if you put those vendors on the ERS process, you will be able to save that, that hard burning. Let's put it that way. So let's go to the pros, pros and cons of using ERS. Well, we saw a few pros earlier, so I won't repeat them. So they are really accuracy, savings, timelines, opportunities, and they can deal with high volumes. Like everything else, it does not come as a perfect package. There are cons relating to ERS. The first one is complacency, the risk of losing oversight on payments being made to vendors. If your system automatically creates accounts payables on vendors, you kind of tend to lose sight of the process after a while. You may not bother to know whether the vendor actually submitted their invoices subsequently or not. You may kind of lose control on that process because someone else is doing your job, in this case, the SAP system. If the vendors come to know that you use ERS process, there is a risk of misuse. This will become a little more clear as you understand the process itself later on. And there is a, I would not call this a limitation, although in some ways it is. You can do an ERS only once. If for any reason you have to reverse that document, you do not have a choice left. You cannot do an ERS again. You have to necessarily do a Miro as a second step. And Miro, of course, as you know, you can do as many times, you can cancel as many times as needed because it's a manual process. All that it would do is to exhaust the next number in your numbering sequence. So what is the difference? Why do you need ERS? Why can't you just work with Milo? Other than the issues relating to accuracy, timeliness, speeds, and high volumes, there are some other areas which you can compare and contrast these two transactions. The ERS requires some data, which is a prerequisite. Milo does not. 
ERS can be done only once as we noticed that earlier and any cancellation of ERS will, necess will be necessarily done through Milo again. Both processes are subject to duplicate invoice check if you have that activated in your system. The ERS can be automated to run periodically and there is really no parking or holding of documents like you can do in Miro. In ERS, it will either post or it will error out if there is a problem. You cannot edit the amounts in ERS system. You will have to accept whatever is there. You don't have the ability to change an amount, whereas in Miro, you do. You can change both the line items from X to Y. And so long as your debits and credits balance out, SAP will post it. 